What's the bubble gum? Do it again. Something, 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 little fun. My name is Matt, welcome back to the shop. And today, this is going to be a motorcycle simples thing. Is an email that someone sent me saying they don't understand um, something when they look in the manual. When they look in the manual, it says primary reduction. You probably can't really read that because my fucking spider writing. And then it'll say first, second, third. I wrote that one for some reason. Fourth, <laughs> fifth. And so on, and six. I'll just fucking put it, I've already nearly done it. Six. So basically, you'll have a primary reduction, and it'll say, uh, I don't know, one point, a uh, point, what ratio, idiot, 1.553 uh, to one. And then you'll have all these other numbers. Sometimes in brackets, it'll say 42, uh, 36, kind of like that, and then it'll have a number. Uh, two point one five seven something like that. You got know I me. Mean? So basically, you'll have all these numbers, and these are all gear ratios. So, um, for a gear to work, you have to have two gears. You can't just have a gear spinning on it on its own. That's what we just call an expensive disc. Um, so you have gear teeth, and these are the ratios between them. This number is the ratio. That's not correct, but that's the ratio between them, and. It was this primary reduction thing that he didn't understand, which is a very good question. What is a primary reduction? Primary reduction. No, dude. Uh, what is a primary reduction? So when you have your crankshaft, so you have your crankshaft, you just do a twin like that. When you have a crankshaft like this, um, a drive has to come off the crankshaft. So we have a gear here generally, and then we can have a bigger gear like this with your the way it works is generally your clutch basket goes on here like this and this is your primary reduction so this number is quite important because all your gears are now based off this reduction every single one because this is your input shaft for all your numbers hence why we write this first and generally why it's in a sense on its own It'll say prime reduction and then you'll have, it'll say gear ratios and then it has the gear ratios. And then you'll have your final drive, but we'll get to that. So your primary reduction is basically there to massively um, slow down your engine output. Well, I say massively, 1.5 isn't that crazy. It's to reduce the speed and increase the torque. Um, but generally to, it's more of a, re a speed reduction thing. It goes straight into your clutch and then that's the input. So whatever this reduction is so let's just say it's 1.5 if your engine's spinning a, a, a thousand rp <laughs> just go for it if your engine is spinning at a thousand rpm then a 1.5 reduction would make it a 70 750 bloody hell that was difficult um <laughs> we we'll make it a um, 750, that's the speed, so that's the reduction you can see there. So your speed goes down, so speed goes down, and then torque goes up. Um, but that's where your prime reduction is. Your prime reduction gear can be in two places. So for the ER5, where they don't really care about how wide the engine is, the gearbox and all the rest of it is a lot wider than the rest of the actual cylinders, um, the primary reduction gear will be just sat on the end of your crank, um, a lot of singles, two strokes, 250, stuff like that. They just have a, a, a gear that's on the end of the crank. When you get stuff like GSXRs and stuff like that, or R1s and so on, they have got four cylinders and they really do want to slim that bike down. This is all to do with cross-sectional area, when to do with drag and all that. So you want to make the bike as slim as possible um, because there's a lot to stick in there as well. And blokes' thighs are usually only so wide. Um, so basically what you want to do is you want to reduce the size and the width and the length of your crankshaft. The shorter your crankshaft, the better. Um, so what they'll do is one of the, I'll show you a picture instead of, instead of trying to draw it. One of the crank webs actually has the gear on it. Um, a lot of bikes have this. I think Bandits have this as well, if I can remember off the top of my head. I think they do, yeah. Um, so one of the webs is the actual gear. This is just so you can keep your crankshaft a bit shorter. Um, and this is so you're also saving weight that's one of the main reasons as well is the fact is instead of having a crank web loads of crank webs and then a massive gear or a gear reduction an extra component an extra gear on there you can turn one of the crank webs 
into one of the gears and then you can mess around with the balance and stuff as well because really that the void is that because it's a full circle that means that it has no balancing effect unless you put like tungsten masses in it or something shit like that anyway i hope that makes sense that's what primary reduction is that's why it's important because it's the first output from your crankshaft and it is not you can't change it um if you wanted to change it there's the center line of your crankshaft is the centre line of your gearbox. If you want to change that, um, you know, you'd have to change your clutch basket, which they don't, you know, you don't do. You're kind of restricted because a lot of the times your clutch basket can't get any smaller because it'd start to interrupt with things and all the rest of it. Even though you can derivet it and get it off, yeah, it's just it's just not something that happens. Primary reductions are constant, they are fixed, that's just the way it works. Hope that makes sense. I'll see you in a bit.